Middle Ages Today, about the most interesting events in the HMB movement from all around the world in one place. In this issue, what innovations have the organizers of the World Championships come up with? Why are the most popular female categories not used at the World Championships? Who are HMB fighters in ordinary life? And who are these folks on the battlefield? Breaking. Who's the best ranking fighter in the HMB movement? How to define a class athlete and a team? These questions have been discussed in HMB sports for a long time. In January, HMBIA announced the establishment of a rating system based on the chess ELO rating, which uses a method of calculating the relative strength of the participants. Each fighter is assigned an ID card. The rating is calculated depending on the category and region of the tournament. Each member of the HMB rating system has to improve his rating by participating in HMB rating tournaments placed on the International HMB Tournaments calendar. Rating updates take place after each fight at HMB rating tournaments. New category in Medieval Combat Cup 2015. IMCF announced the introduction of a new category, 10 vs 10, at the World Championships in Marburg. This is one of the three categories of mass battle. However, each nation can enter only one team in each of the three categories, 5 vs 5, 10 vs 10, and 16 vs 16. Bot and organizers decided to enable the Royal category at the World Championship at HMB Battle of the Nations 2015. Now several national teams can form an alliance and act as a single team. This is a good deal for small teams, which previously couldn't take part in the Royal category. The only exception is that one national team should act as a leader and will gather the teams under its banners and the Alliance will act under the name of the leading team. Anyway, now the way is open to everybody. Dual category medalist at the World Championship Battle of the Nations, Krzysztof Szatecki, together with his brother, Robert, has opened a school of gladiators. The Polish sportsmen offer group training. Currently, 50 participants train under their guidance in three groups, starting from complete beginners through to some of the most experienced night combat sport fighters from the Dias, Ire, and Excalibur groups. Workshop. The Finnish HMB warriors have been gathering new fighters under their flag. To search for new soldiers, a public seminar was organized, and all interested persons without special training were invited. They had a six-hour session with some instruction in basic techniques from kicking, punching and hitting, as well as combat fitness and an opportunity to try several rounds of sparring with soft weapons and full armor. The Finns were glad to find out that there are some guys out there with great potential in the Savo region and hopefully sparked enough interest for a new club to be formed. The Italian team organized its national qualifiers in the mass battle categories and that process was preserved in the memory in the form of a short video. Women's League. The Iron Ladies HMB movement in the FB group carried out a survey. What kind of fight categories do girls prefer? The result was a surprise. The results were headed by a category not present at either of the World Championships. The choice of the maidens was Pro Fights. This took first place in the survey. Second place goes to the Sword and Shield category. And the last place in this rating goes to Triathlon. A few words about the winner of this survey. In January, a women's pro fight battle took place in Rishon Lezion. Members from Israel and Belarus fought for the Israel Challenge Cup. Irina Ragazovsky emerged as the winner. The cup remained in the Holy Land. Events. A few different tournaments have taken place in January. In the city of Javosno, the third Polish League tournament has taken place. 
fighters were represented in categories Dual as Two-Handed Weapon, 5 vs 5 and 16 vs 16. The second tournament of the Israel Challenge ran near Tel Aviv. Pro fighters from seven countries took part in this event. Belarus, Denmark, France, Estonia, Israel, Russia and Ukraine were represented. Note that the tournament was held in front of full stands. The north of Germany saw the King Red Bad Challenge. This is a competition in triathlon. Participants from clubs in Friesland, Germany, Luxembourg and the UK were present. And the male and female categories were won by representatives of the Zitadel Club, Germany. Don't miss the report about the most anticipated tournament, Rise of Knights, in the next issue. And now about the calendar of tournaments in February. On February the 7th in California, USA, the National HMB Tournament. On February the 21st, New Zealand's first official HMB tournament, the Tattoo Cup, starts. On the same day in Montreal, Quebec, the Winter Tournament starts. On February the 28th, the full contact medieval sword tournament at NLHF is planned in the UK. In interview. Ibu Sevenol is the nickname of a fighter of the national team of France. It means owl, and he's from Seven, a mountain region in the south of France. In ordinary life, he's a woodcutter. Do you think his favorite weapon is an axe? Wrong guess. Ibu likes falchion and prefers French armor from the end of the 14th century. About his hobby, he says the following. Final Bouhert is my solo project. I write music and lyrics and play and record all the instruments, guitars, bass, drums, and I personally perform all the tracks. Ibu has been a regular member of the French team since 2012. His favorite category is Bouhert, a mass battle in all its variants. Bouhurts are the history of my land, says Ibu. They are extreme, they are fun, they make the world championship. That's why I like Bouhurts so much. At the HMB competition, Battle of the Nations, Ibu was with his girlfriend, Mart. She's a fighter on the French team also, and a participant at the world championship. She helps Ibu in all his projects. And now they are preparing for the new season and train together. Pip my suit. Polish manufacturer Lori Factor, who produced medieval accessories and ammunition, have held a suit photo contest on Facebook. More than 50 active members of the group responded to the proposal. Lori Factor promised prizes for winners. These lucky people will be able to pimp their suit. We've made our own rating. In our opinion, there are photos worthy of the title of authentic costume. HMB promotion. This is uh, what you might call a hand and a half sword. The Discovery See, Channel the invited half HMB half fighter half Captain Zorik to appear in the show Big Giant Swords. Our warrior spoke about reenactment and battle in armor. Uh, I'm a knight in a group that does international medieval armored combat competitions. So these aren't like battle reenacting, this is an actual competition. Exactly. The only thing that counts is getting the guy to the ground. So you can hit me all day. My armor is good enough to protect me. Check out these dents. And I am still alive. Captain, I always admire a man who dresses for the occasion. That is awesome looking. International tournaments. Russians, Ukrainians, French, English, even a couple of Japanese. L loads of nationalities have hit you in the head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Captain Zorik ordered a sword called Dragon's Breath and took part in testing its destructive power. Ready? Oh, yeah. Right. Lay on. <laughs> nice. Cheers. Does pumpkin by itself taste very good? <laughs> so, Captain Z, what do you think? <laughs> well, we wanted a big muck and sword. We got a big muck and sword. It is that. I like it. That's all for today. We'll meet you in two weeks.